The Nam X crossover will make its public debut at the Paris Motor Show later this year. Battery electric vehicles seem poised to dominate the auto industry in a couple of decades. The future still needs to be written, and some believe there will be room for hydrogen-powered vehicles. Established automakers like Toyota, BMW, Hyundai and others are blazing ahead with the technology, but they are not alone in this endeavor. The company hopes to have the vehicle on the market by the end of 2025, with a price ranging from €60,000 to €95,000. Nam X doesn't specify where it'll sell it, though the removable tank system and limited hydrogen refueling infrastructure will restrict it. When it does arrive, it'll be available in two configurations. There will be an entry-level, rear-wheel drive version that makes 300 horsepower. It'll be limited to 124 miles per hour top speed, hitting 62 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. The all-wheel drive GTH will pump out 550 horsepower, top out at 155 miles per hour, and hit 62 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. Hello, everybody. I am Thomas de Lussac, co founder and designer at Nemix. I have created my own design studio 20 years ago and I have created many products in many areas, like furniture, jewels, connected product, and many other products, but nothing compared to the Nemix project. Today, I would like to introduce Kevin Rice, head of design at Pinfarina. So, one thing I need to ask you, Thomas, is before we get into the details of this vehicle, is what were your inspirations? What were yours, and also Fauzi's, uh, intentions for this vehicle. I'm, I'm fascinated. Can you give, you give us a little bit of a, an overview of that? Okay. Um, as you know, Kevin, design is not only about nice shapes. Design is about bringing new experiences. Design is about how you can change people's life with new ideas. My work at Nemix is to have a global view on the design on both function and aesthetics. My work is to create the best solution to bring the ultimate user experience. With Fauzi, we had four years to think about the style that we wanted to have on this car. We had a clear product vision. This vision was that we wanted to have a design which would express strength, power, and dynamism. A bit different than what you can see on some electrical car that we found too soft, too fluid, and sometimes too boring. In my work, what I try to do often is to link the past and the future. It's what I call the retro futurist style. My source of inspiration are um, science fiction, which I love, and the American design from the 60s. And with the HUV, what we have tried to do is to take the inspiration from the muscle car, the American muscle car from the 60s, and to transform this inspiration, this energy, into um, a completely innovative car. But as Fauzi and I, we are also European. We wanted to bring this 
European touch, this touch of, of class, um, with beautiful lines which goes from the front of the car to the back of the car. And to do that, we came to visit Pinin Farina, we met all the teams, and we decided to work together. So thank you very much, Kevin, for that. But I have one question, Kevin. What was your first feeling when you first met Fauzi and I, when you discovered the Nemix project? <laughs> well, it's really interesting you should ask that, because uh, as you rightly said, design is much more than just a collection of shapes. And the first thing that really, really impressed us was uh, looking at this really innovative idea, this technical idea that you came up with. And not only was it innovative, but really well thought through, <clears throat> all the way through, not just the design of the vehicle and, and the way it's powered and so on, but how you can actually use it in real life. And that really, really impressed us that, you know, you spent such a long time thinking through, you had solutions to all uh, the different aspects of the design. But what really surprised us was yours and also, uh, of course, Fowles's love and passion for, shall we say, old-fashioned cars. And it was this, this that really surprised us in a really positive way. Uh, because it's this passion that you've got uh, for expressive, dynamic design. And that's not typical for most of the startups today. So that really excited us and really motivated us to start moving forward with this design. And it's this expressive design, I think, which really caught everyone's attention. And uh, it's, it's a sensual design. It touches the emotion. And that's definitely not true of most startups. Um, Pininfarina, in the last 90 plus two years, uh, obviously sees design as much more than just styling. It's about innovation. It's about giving life to visions. As we say, we move dreams to create unique experiences for people using our designs. And that fits perfectly with your dreams and your visions. And uh, I think it's it, you know, really exciting also for us. And when we talk about innovation, innovation is not just the vehicle itself, but we had to innovate our way of designing. And it's the first car that's been done that's completely virtually done. Yeah? And you, you guys can test out a little bit later when we're going through questions and answers and so on. You can test out the state-of-the-art system we now use, mixed reality. It's the first time we've done a complete car to this stage purely virtually. So that was a great challenge for us, uh, despite all the experience we've got. Uh, that was a challenge for us, and it was also a way for us to accelerate our own skill sets. So not only was it kind of an exciting project, but it also made us think and rethink about how design should be done. Now, talking about translating the Namex yeah, philosophy into design, I guess, is it okay if I explain a little bit of how we did that? Yeah, in fact, uh, I wanted to ask you anyway, so please. Yeah. Now, um, innovative design must express the technology that it's covering. That is the most important thing for successful design. Now, this particular case, there is a unique part of the year, which we'll come to in a moment, but because of the new uh, technical approach, this part of the car is much higher than it would be on a normal vehicle. And even despite the fact that it doesn't have a petrol engine, it still needs cooling, it needs extensive cooling, so the vehicle is quite high and it's quite wide, to allow that technology to breathe correctly. So, based on your love and inspiration for expressive design, the big challenge for us was how to go from these high points, higher than normal, in a really dynamic way. And what's happened here is we have accelerated from this high point at the front, high points at the rear, and it's created almost like a subconscious X in the core of the vehicle. So that's absolutely, you know, really one of the most important parts of our success is design quality. Now, that is a little bit of a black magic art. People say, what does design quality mean? So, for example, tuning this X on the body and being able to 
compress that either in plastic or metal panels, it's really tricky. So when you come up and later closer look at the, take a closer look at the car, you'll notice the X where cross is right in the middle of the gap. So there's no pressing problems, there's no quality issues, and that meant we had to design the whole car many, many times to make sure that the cross is right in the middle. Of course, the door also has the problem. So that was again another wonderful challenge which we really enjoyed uh, fulfilling. But what's really unique about this car is the visual soul of the vehicle, the optical soul of the vehicle. And why that's important is, if David can start moving the car around, please. Yes. Yeah? What's really important is normally the soul of the vehicle, you find at the front of a vehicle, or you find in the middle of the vehicle. But because we know this new innovative approach to this vehicle, uh, especially in what's going on in the rear of the vehicle, this new technical innovation actually creates a valid home for the soul of the vehicle. So it is the only vehicle I know of where the visual, the design soul is actually in the rear, and of course there's a really good reason for that. Thank you, Kevin. As you know, green mobility is the great challenge of the next years. Electrical cars are an answer, but electrical cars have different problems. The first problem is that is, uh, is autonomy. Autonomy is too short. The second problem is charging time, which is too long. The third problem is pollution. Pollution by producing the batteries and pollution by recycling the batteries. Another problem that we have to face is that, as you know, in 2035, it will be forbidden to sell thermal cars in Europe. So we had to find a solution. We have worked together at NEMIX to find the ultimate user experience solution. So in five seconds, we'll show you more about it. That's much lighter than I thought. <laughs> Goodness me. This is a swapping hydrogen capsule. Very easy to swap. In a few seconds, you, you can charge enough, enough hydrogen. You can see, maybe we can come closer to the people. Yes. If, if some people want to, to touch it or to see it. If you want take, to take it in, you can try. Yeah. It looks heavier than it really is. Eight kilograms. Eight. Eight kilograms. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, two. Who wants to try? Who's strong enough? Who's strong enough? Smartphone. Some workout? Okay. I'm going to give you some more uh, technical details. Yes, thank you. In our system, we, we call this um, capsule CAPEX. In our system, we have one, maybe, um, David, we can turn a little bit the, the car. Yes, thank you. We have one main fixed hydrogen tank inside the car. And we have, you can stop. And we have six smaller tanks here that we call the capsule. These smaller tanks can be swapped very easily. In a few seconds, you can swap one. So in approximately two minutes, you can swap the six Yes. Capsule. We have two ways to charge our car with hydrogen. The first way is the classical way. Yes. You go to the next hydrogen station, if you find one, and with the pump you put hydrogen inside the car. This will fulfill not only the fixed tank, but also the swapping tanks. This will bring you 800 kilometers of autonomy. 800 kilometers. This is, for example, the distance between Paris and Saint-Tropez, which is great. Yes. Another point that I would like to talk to you today is about the design. As you can see, in a, at NEMIX, we, we have an offer with a premium car. But also, the new thing is to have 
also a premium way to charge energy. Uh, uh, NEMIX is a new vision, not only driving, but also charging energy. For the first time in car history, we will be able to put hydrogen capsule in a car. And as you can see, the design, it's beautiful, it's easy to manipulate. What do you think of it, um, Kevin? Well, I, I think it's interesting that uh, the gentleman here who first got it in his hands you know, thought it was more than it was. You know, he wants to use it to work out in the gym. And I think that hits on a really important point, that all the world's most successful designs have a desirability that goes way beyond their technical function. And I can kind of see it as, as a luxury form of, of, of a new baggage, a new kind of almost a fashion exit. Yeah, I don't know, I can, I can see people in the Champs-Élysées walk, Champs walking along and this is their bag, you know? I could, I could really see it as a fashion uh, luxury item in that sense, just purely because there's something about the design which touches the emotions. Yeah. And anything which touches the emotions, touches the soul, is going to be automatically desirable. This is desirable, and of course, the car itself has this desirability, and that is so important to ignite people's interest in things. Yeah. Uh, and that goes just way beyond the technical, it goes into the emotional, and this car is full of emotion. Yes. That emotion comes from you. We've accelerated that emotion, and we've expressed it in this beautiful, elegant, timeless form. So iconic form as well. It's a very, very characteristic design, unmistakable. And, oh. uh, and I can still hold it, so it's definitely thank, not, yeah, uh, not a problem in terms of weight. Yeah. I would like to add one word. Um, this capsule will be available everywhere, but today, I will not reveal anything about our distribution system because this will be revealed in Paris um, at the automotive show in Paris in October. So what I would like to say is today is in the name of Name X. Thank you very much to the Pinin Farina team. Thank you, Kevin, for such a great work. And thank you to all the people who have believed in our project. Thank you. Thank you.